Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. Okay, so errors are really important in your application. If the user tries to log in but the credentials are not correct, then you should notify the user with an error message. We saw that in the previous video and we also took a look at throttles when we banned the user after trying to authenticate with wrong credentials. So, we do get an error message when we have wrong credentials, but when we get banned, we get a page that displays the error with an ugly format. So what I will do now is to enter the wrong credentials for this account until I get banned. Okay, so after entering incorrect credentials six times, we get banned and this is the page. So let's do something about this and display this error message in a more user-friendly way. I will go inside the login controller and I will put all the code that we have here inside a try catch. So try and then catch. Okay, so everything will go inside the try. So we try this and otherwise we are going to catch some errors. So number one is to catch this throttling exception, all right? So let's import this throttle exception. I will go right at the top and say use cartelist sentinel checkpoints throttling exception. Okay, so let's now use this throttling exception. Perfect. So we do know that this throttling exception has a delay, right? If you go here, you can see that we have a delay in seconds and this is the time that we are denied to have access to this account. So let's access this delay here. Delay and I will access my delay here. So get delay. And what I will do now is to redirect back with this error. So we have already done this, so I will just copy the return from here but I will change the error. So delete this and open double quotes. And inside here I can just say you are bound for and then we pass the delay and then we just say seconds. Perfect, so I will save now, we'll go back to this, reload and look at this. So now it says you are bound for 669 seconds so remember, the reason why we get this error here is because we are redirected back with this error, right? And this error includes the message. And we display that, if you remember. So if you go to the login.blade, you can see that we display the error right here, only if it exists, right? So if it doesn't exist, we totally skip this. Otherwise, if it exists, we display the error. Okay, so let's do the same for the activation. If you have problems sending emails, by the way, then remember, do not use your everyday Gmail account. Instead, create a Gmail account just for this course. With a newly created Gmail account, 99%, you will not have problems sending emails from this application. I could give you some solutions to fix your problem, but the issue about this is that sending emails is very general and it is also not related to Laravel. So if you have the same settings as I do, then the problem lies with your Gmail account and I cannot really help you with that. So that's why, create a new Gmail account to complete these steps. Okay, so back to this now. I will go and I will grab a temporary email and I will register with this email. So I will now go to the register page and register a new user. Okay, so we sent the email and of course if I go here, refresh, we now should have the email. However, I don't really care about this email to say the truth. What I care about is to go back to the login page. So if I go back to the login page and I want to log in with the account that we just created. So the password is secret. Oops, we are still banned, so let me... Let me clear the throttle table, so I will select all of them, delete, yes. 
Okay, back to this. So let me log in again. Okay, so now this is what I wanted. You get this not activated exception, right? And it says your account has not been activated yet. Of course, nothing to worry about here. We have already seen this problem. So let's import this exception, the not activated exception. So let's go back to the code. Right at the top, I will just copy this. And let me get this in order to not make any spelling mistake. Paste it. Excellent. So I will now catch the not activated exception. And all I will do this time is to just return redirect back with the error. So I will just copy the return there. And the message for this case will be different. So we can say your account is not activated. Okay, so if I go back now, reload, you now again get this error that says your account is not activated. Excellent. So now we do return error responses for all our errors. So in the next video, we will take care of password reset. For some reason, I forgot my password.